Okay, and also like a lot of a lot of men are having issues with these women. They're saying, "Oh, y'all are just so materialistic. All y'all want is money." Da 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 da. Y'all don't want to work. Y'all don't want to do nothing with your men. Y'all don't want to help your man build and da 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 da. But you know, everyone is saying, "Oh, well." Black women are queens and black men are kings as a term of empowerment. And if we say this to them enough, maybe they'll start acting like kings and queens again. And, you know, when a woman raises her standards or demands that she be treated as royalty or says, well, I'm not doing that because I'm too good or any of that because she's been told that she's this. You're a queen. You're this. You're that. So she's going to believe it. And then when she goes to find her man, she's trying to find a king. She's not trying to find a peasant who's wearing the false title of a king. No. I mean, if it's if it's going to work, if the, um, the self-empowerment is going to work for a woman who raises her standards to queen standards. And then the men who claim themselves as kings can't oblige her. Then are those men really kings? You know, uh. If you're walking around calling women queens, uh, you know, expecting to be, you know, talked to by these women and fool them into thinking that, you know, you respect them on the highest level and then you really don't. You're just saying that as a, you know, as the new fad or term of endearment and they take it literally. It's like, okay, well, you think I'm a queen? Okay, well, you know what? When we get married, I'm not going to work. I want a maid. I want a Bentley. I want this. I'm a queen, right? Well, you're the king. You need to go out and make the king money, you know? That's what you need to do. And so when you start using these words, king, queen, people start taking the meanings of them and turning them into something totally different, you know? And a lot of people put these memes on Facebook with like a ratchet a chick and then like this covered woman with our hair and body covered with just this, a pretty face and uh, a smile well uh, one thing is a queen is a rule rules over herself you know she's like you know I can do whatever I want I'm in power but if you're saying that this ratchet free chick hair all over her head tattoos wigs makeup looking crazy it's not a queen, but this covered woman who is submissive is, then you don't know the real meaning of queen. Because a queen won't have shouldn't have to cover her crown, which is her hair. A queen should not have to cover her everything. A queen should be able to wear whatever she wants if she's the ruler of herself or a ruler or you know, the most high. She should, right? So a lot of people get the term queen all mixed up as well. And a lot of women who say, oh, my king, my king. You know what that is? That's the same thing as getting with a man who is not hasn't made it yet. But you think that you can change him or you think you can push him to that next level by calling him king and supporting him and pacifying him and saying this, this and that. Well, yeah, in the beginning of the relationship, yeah, it's all, oh, my king, my king. After that king, you know, after he gets complacent with that term and nothing much changes, except after that, then he begins to refer to himself as a king, but nothing else has changed. Then you're going to be like, okay, well, it's not working. Okay, uh, baby, my baby, my baby, okay, you know. So, after baby is gone, because you feel so frustrated, then it's back to his regular name. <laughs> Which should have been used in the first place. Because men's names, women's names have a lot of power in them. And they remind them who they are. The real them. You know, names are not mistakes. A lot of people carefully choose their names before they name their child. They look up the meaning. They they manifest what they want their child to be through their name. A lot of conscious people do that. You know, some people just make up names or look on the back of the back of some chips 
and get an ingredient and name their kid. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, names are really important. That's why you should always call people by their name because that's who they are. They're not kings. They're not queens. They are them. So when y'all realize that this is not working for the best and that maybe women have taken the term queen too far and it's too far up and now the queen has become the ruler because I mean what is the most powerful piece on the chessboard the queen you know so y'all really have to think about the words that you, you use because they, they have power and you can't use them loosely even if it's a conscious fad you still gotta think you gotta think okay so what I like I will never call my children queens or princesses you know why Unless they're dressed up in a costume that's a queen or a princess or playing a school play. You know why? Because then what do they have to strive for? I'm already a princess. I don't do anything. You know? What do they have to strive for? You know? I call them future doctors. I call them geniuses. I call them smart. I call them, you know, beautiful. I don't call them some silly stuff that's not going to do much okay it's not really going to help you know um, someone wrote in the comments oh uh, if you want your man to be a king you have to call him a king and it manifests as, no I'm calling my man or my husband a good father a good husband I'm calling him by his name and I'm going to call him you know a good provider a good husband a good father Okay, that's what I want. I don't want a king. If I wanted a king, if I wanted to marry a king, I would have moved or, you know, found, what was that place called? Zamunda. Okay? The Eddie Murphy movie, Coming to America. If I want to marry a king, yeah, I'll go do that. Okay? I don't want to marry a king. I want to marry a man who's going to be a good father, a good provider, and a good husband. Not a king. Okay? And he does he, you know, that's funny. Because when you're when you're saying you want to manifest, you have to be exact in your manifestation. You can't just be calling out loose terms. That's silly. You, what are you going to miss? The king of wood, the Latin kings, the king of the world, the king of the couch, the king of uh, video games. What what is he going to be the king of exactly? Okay. So anyway, y'all get me. All right. Peace.